Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the next segment. And right now we're going to throw down some supports. So if you look at our original structure, we've got a pin and a fixed, a fixed, and a pin. So I've thrown down some supports here on one, two, three, four. And right now they're showing as all fixed. And I'm going to show you how to just quickly change those to a pin support on the outsides. So the reason I'm doing this, uh, showing you again, I know we've seen this in the beam, the spring, and, and the truss examples, but now we've got so many other nodes. We've got so many other different possible supports. And whenever you right click on your support, every single node comes up in it, but it just shows as a free, free, and free for your X, Y, and Z degree of freedom, okay? So we have our first, second, third, and fourth nodes. Those are the only ones that are gonna show fixed, fixed, and fixed, meaning that we have a fixed support on all four of them and we want to have a z degree of freedom to be free on numbers one and numbers four and that'll give us a pin and a pin perfect all right so now let's define some loads so go to the load toolbar or modeling toolbar and uh, we're going to have to do some uniformly distributed loads and if you don't know how to put those down just uh, go to my other video where i, I explain how to put those down <clears throat> how to put a uniformly distributed load down on a beam and that's going to be the same case here so I'm going to skip ahead and throw down all of my loads